I totally forgot to add myself to Sage. It's been a hot minute. You guys let me know in the comments. Can you guys hear me? Hello, hello, hello. So excited to be back. I was only going to go live with my besties tonight to test it out, but I thought, you know what? You guys haven't seen me in a long time. So everybody, let's go. I'm so excited. Hello, hello, hello. And it's last minute. I'm sorry. Um, but like I said, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. It's been a hot minute. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to see you guys. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Um, I am now in my garage, so I may be a little bit echoey. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Uh, yay, it's so good to see you guys too. I'm so excited. Uh, let's see, checking in to see. Yes, I know that so many of you guys were worried because I have been extremely quiet, um, but I am back. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where we're going to go from here. Did I quit YouTube? Am I going to quit YouTube? What's going on? Hello, hello. I'm so excited. Let's see. Yes, we can hear you fine. Hopefully, there's definitely not a whole lot of echo. I'll figure it out as I go along. Love your new dude. Thank you so much. I've been rocking the curly hair here recently. So, hello, hello. I'm so excited. I'm trying not to watch all of your comments, but I've missed you guys so much. I'm so pumped. Let me check this out. I had last minute, I messaged my sister too, and I was like, can you please jump in the chat and help us? Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So I'm, I don't know. So it's like, is Crystal back? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I should come back. What do you guys think? You guys want Crystal to come back? What do y'all think? Uh, listening in at work. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown, I'll let you guys kind of come in just for a minute and then I'll tell you guys what I've been up to. Hey everyone. Hello. Hello. I'm so pumped. Like it's so hard. I feel like I have not been live or even recorded a video in a long time. I don't even know where I would even begin to record that part. Right? So the live is pretty easy. I don't have to go back and edit nothing, but I don't even know what I would do. Hello. Hello. Let's see. You've certainly been missed. Thank you guys so much. I've heard a lot. So I have completely stepped back from social media. I have not watched YouTube. I have not been on like TikTok, Facebook, all of those good things. I've been just kind of in the background. I'm actually working now, which I'll get into and talk about. Um, but uh, I have taken an extreme setback. So I have stepped back from social media altogether, even just from watching it and kind of been on like this healing journey. And so I was going to quit YouTube. I was at one point just going to sell everything and completely walk away from it. Um, but I was like, hold on, Crystal, sit on it for a little bit, think about it for a little bit. So I've been in the background. I've recently been talking to some of my partners that I've been with, like Rakoma. Um, I've talked to Joe from UNET and Cricket as well, just kind of talking to some of my partners and kind of getting back in here. Um, let's see. Glad to see you. Uh, definitely want you back. Oh, thank you so much. We want you back. It's so good to hear that. And that was part of like what has kept me from not just completely walking away altogether is you guys. I know that um, I do make some of your guys' day or you guys do enjoy to watch me and I could tell that I was missed. I've seen the comments. Um, the people that do help me like run social media, like my cousins or you know, my sister's like, hey, do you want me to say something? Everybody is so worried. Um, I'm definitely okay. Medically okay. I haven't had any issues. Crystal is back. Have a wonderful, oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. I miss you guys so much. And I'm trying. And listen, I'm in my garage now. I have no fan. So we're going to use a cricket mat, right? Craft tools. So you look great. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. All right. So where have I been? I'm actually working now. So I work at a family clinic in healthcare. I'm super excited. I work with some amazing girls. It's all girls. And we have a ton of fun. They're like sisters to me. And it's really cool because um, one of them, she even, her name is Bo. So hello, Bo, if you're watching, but she actually makes rugs. So she does the DIY doormats and she sells them for a living. And she has even went to get her license so she can sell like the licensed material, you know, like Razorbacks and stuff like that. So one day I'm hoping to bring her here and she's going to share that journey and tell us how you could go about doing something like that. Uh, so glad she's just, ah, I'm so excited. And like I said, this was last minute. So I did have some inspiration from another YouTuber that I've actually met here and was able to get the studio kind of back together and just be inspired to kind of come back um, and be ready to go. So many times I have tried and then it's like, okay, this and that has happened. You guys know, for my besties know that I have tried to come back a couple of weeks ago and then it just was not working out for me. And then I was going to come back again life, you know, punched me right in the face again. And so um, 
it's uh, it's been a journey, but I'm so excited. Um, I have actually been super involved with my work, my church. I'm actually on the production team at church now. So it's really, really exciting. I've actually been on the opposite side. So I do stuff that's similar here. Um, I run the screen. So you guys know when you guys go to church and the big screens in the back with all the words. So I, I do some of that. I do um, for the video that's going to go live on YouTube. And then last, last week, I actually even got to run the camera. So I was on the opposite side of the camera. So I've been doing some really fun stuff. I'm actually going on a mission to uh, Peru in June. So I'm really, really excited about that. You look great. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's see here. Do you guys have any questions? What is stuff that you guys want to see me bring back? You guys know that I work with Cricut. I've worked with Silhouette. Um, we've got Blowforge. We obviously have the embroidery machine. Once again, I have some really cool stuff that I have been holding for months that nobody has done yet. And I have not shared it because I refuse to let somebody steal my idea. But I have some really cool stuff coming with that. Um, and then obviously the unit. I'm going to have this put together. Thankfully for Joe, Joe has been amazing. And so has all of these people, right? So Ricoma has been patient. Cricket has been patient. All of my brand partners have been extremely patient to let me kind of figure out life. You know, I've been doing this since 2016. 2012, I actually started my YouTube channel and then I changed it along the way, but officially 2016, um, but I've been doing this for so long and then I've had some really big things in my life that has changed um, over this last year that has just kind of set me back and made me kind of rethink about how I wanted to live life, basically. Uh, so now I'm out there working and I absolutely love it because I'm not by myself. So you guys know when I run my YouTube, I'm a one man show and I actually really, really love to be a part of a team. And like I said, I love the girls that I work with. It's so much fun. I'm so excited about it. Um, let's see. I've missed you. So glad you're back. Girl, bring back whatever. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. What happened? Uh, you make one and you'll watch it. Thank you so much, Dee. Thank you guys for supporting me as well. I know that my besties have been extremely loyal as well as all of you guys. Once again, I've seen your comments. I've seen you guys worrying. Um, I'm just so, so excited. Thank you making it with Marilyn. And by the way, we are actually going to be doing a live together soon. We're supposed to do it way back there. But once again, I have not been on my emails. I've not messed with anything that was related to this. This was really, really hard for me. Um, when I changed my life over this last year, um, some big things happened in my personal life. Um, like I said, this was one of those things I just kind of wanted to walk away from. I wanted to completely start my life over and just kind of just be someone else, I guess, in a sense, um, because this, I felt like this was so connected um, to my past. Right. And it was just kind of abused in a sense from me. And I, I really not in my, me, but somebody took advantage of me on it. So um, so it was really, really hard. Let's see. Hey, making it with the sublimation side. I'm trying to see. Yes. Sublimation. I'm so excited. Now, let me tell you guys, too. So if one of our nurse practitioners, I have been supposed to be making some hats and some beanies for her, as well as a sweatshirt. Um, I have came out here. The only thing that I have craft, crafted in the last several months is I had made my own sweatshirt. So I have our company logo on it. I have made that, um, but I'm supposed to be making one for uh, one of the girls at work. And it's so funny because I've had so many birthdays come up and I could make them a quick gift, but it's been so hard to get back to this, but I'm ready. I'm definitely ready. Yay, I'm so glad you're back. Oh my gosh, just to hear you guys. You guys are so amazing. And thank you to my sister for letting me reach out to her last minute, especially on the eclipse day, right? So have you guys been, did you guys get to see the eclipse? Where you guys were from? Did you guys have your glasses and all of these things? We got to see the entire thing where we are from. And so me and my girls were like constantly going outside. It was super, super cool. Loved it. Let's see. So good to see you. Thank you so much. Um, sorry, this happened to you. Um, it's okay. You know, like life happens once again, it's like since 2016, this has been my life. And, um, once again, it was just one of those things that, um, when life happened, um, some of you guys may know, and I may have talked about it. I went through a divorce this last year and made some major changes, you know, so new place, new this, new that starting over, started working. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm super, super pumped. I'm just, I'm living my best life now. I think I just feel free in a sense. Um, so yeah, it's the happiest I've been in a long time. 
Uh, when do you, let's see, when did it come back? Uh, so they will get there. Yes. Yep. Thank you so much for that. That's correct, Moss. They will definitely get theirs. Um, let's see here. My husband and son are down. Oh, wow. That is awesome. We're in the zone of, that is amazing. How exciting. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so glad to see you're back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I'm pumped. Now, um, I can't even like, I'm just so excited. Like, I don't even know what, what all, I feel like I've been just talking and rambling for the last, you know, so long. I'm so excited. Um, and once again, I don't even know what is happening in the crafting industry. So you guys are going to have to fill me in. Um, I know I've watched a couple of like Tanner's videos from Makers Gonna Learn. I've watched a couple of those and seen some things that was going on. That's okay. Thank you so much, Stacey. I appreciate it. Honestly, I feel like I am in chapter two of my life and it's the best years yet. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm aging like fine wine. So I'm just super excited about it. No eclipse in Phoenix. Really? Oh my gosh. Um, glad you're okay. Thank you so much. And like I said, I thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, it's definitely been, it's been nice. Like it's very, it was very stressful. I held a lot of stress. I would get very emotional about it because I felt like I've abandoned my people, all of you guys here on YouTube. And so I really, really struggled with that. Um, but I'm so excited to be back. So the plan is I do want to at least start, I'm going to start slow. Um, so there's not going to be any pre-recorded videos for a little bit. I do have one, like I've, you know, partnered with some of my partners. So there'll be like one here and there, but for now, just to kind of get me back in here, I'm going to do lives. So I think what day works best for you guys? What do you guys think? Um, I think that um, possibly like in the evening of like Friday or we can even do throughout the week. So remember, I work eight to five now, right? So I have a real job in, or in a sense, right? A lot of people don't think this is a real job. I always say a real job. So I work eight to five now. And uh, so it's going to probably be more in the afternoons, I mean, the evening time or possibly even... Um, even on the weekends. When is your grandbaby due? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like uh, July. So I believe it's like July 21st. She's getting so big. Um, we've got to see her now with the, I think it was the three or the 40 scan. And um, she's getting so big. I'm so excited. My daughter's name and her Brixley. Um, I got her big gift. So the baby shower's coming up. So those are some of the things we're going to work on. I definitely want to do hello, hello. Thank you so much, Sherry, for joining. Welcome, bestie. Um, so some of the things I want to work on is I've got to work on baby shower stuff, right? So my other daughter had taken over it. She was getting everything together for us. And so now there's a few things that I want to make with the cricket, obviously. Um, and so I will be doing that live here with you guys. We'll do some of that stuff, but I'm so excited. But my big gift, I got that stroller um, car seat combo, right? Um, and so... It was not the Duna, but it's the even flow one. So I think they're about the same price. But the one with the even flow, you can take the tires off. Let me tell you, all four of us girls the other night was trying to figure this thing out. We were laughing so hard because we cannot get it to collapse correctly. And so we had it over and we're like, we can't do this with a baby in there. Like, how are we supposed to do this? And so, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be interesting. So glad to see you. Thank you so much. Um, you pick the day and times and we'll be there. Thanks. Uh, whatever works. Okay. Awesome. So glad to hear. Um, let's see. We've got, I feel you and you are um, on the uphill. Thank you so much. Freedom is here. That's right. Um, and so I just want to, like I said, just because it's been such a, um, it's been such a process. Like I want to be very clear on it and very transparent of what has transpired in my life to take the step back of what's happened to me. So I just want to be honest. I just want to be real. Um, and that is what has happened, honestly, is so I have had to take a step back, be on a healing journey. You guys know that I got sick in November and that took like a toll on my body. But, um, like I said, in the meantime, I have also been going through that and I'm officially out of place. Um, I mean, I obviously I have anxiety. So that's something I want to talk about here on the channel. I mean, it's literally real. Um, so that's something that I have been going through the process with, but it's completely normal. I think it's completely normal to talk about. And that's just a process I still need to go through. Let's see any time. I'm so excited. And then you guys can always watch it back on the replay. So even if you guys don't catch me live, you're going to be able to watch it on the replay. Now today I did not, I'm testing my microphone testing what it looks like because I am in the garage. It's super hot in here. 
you guys can see from, <laughs> from this. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. This is the problem in the garage, right? So I have four plugins and right now we have a plugin on the ceiling, by the way, which is supposed to be for the garage opener. So I have two lines running from that with a bunch of cords. And then I need to run another one because I've got to be able to plug this printer in. This is plugged in by itself. I have to take turns with this heat press. So it's going to be interesting to come back and figure out how to do this together. Um, I started out when I first moved in the house, I was actually in one of the spare bedrooms. Um, but then my daughter had came home and mom said, Move it to the garage. So moved it to the garage and gave it to my daughter. Let's see. I have anxiety and panic attacks and they aren't good. You know, and that's the thing is I think uh, so many people don't talk about it. And I have never had anxiety in my life, like never, ever, ever. And um, it's new to me. So, uh, you know, you feel like your heart's beating 900 miles an hour. And then the one thing I've learned too with my anxiety is I'll talk a lot. Kind of like right now, just I'll kind of ramble. And I hate that. Um, we have missed you. I love you guys so much. We are here for you. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah. Okay. So I think what, because like with you guys, I'll probably do, it's either going to be Friday evenings or maybe like a Wednesday evening. Um, something about like that. Because I know I used to upload, I think Wednesdays at 3 p.m. And that worked really good for some of you guys. So um, we'll either do that. And I figure we can hang out in the evenings, craft together and do some really cool things. Um, you are loud and clear. Thank you so much, Samantha. So um, thank you so much. Let me tell you what. So you guys know I've got my markers back here. I keep losing a couple of those. I've got to figure that out. But my biggest problem is plugging stuff in. So we tried to plug the heat press in at the same time as all of these lights and it blew the, it blew the deal. So the, what do you call that thing? You know, like a, uh, the power strip, right? So um, I got to figure out how I'm going to run all these different outlets and be able to function correctly. Let's see. Um, I'm glad you'll be talking about all of these things. Yes, I definitely want to talk about real life. So I think we'll have different things like, um, you know, just like to be able to chat about it and stuff like that. But let's see, anxiety and panic attacks. I couldn't even um, go on to take the take me down literally. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Um, Breaker or fuse? So the breaker didn't go, but the power strip did, I think. So I think it has like an auto um, like shut off. Um, and so I've got to figure that out. But I'm kind of like, because um, I used to be married to an electrician, so I know a little bit about electricity. But um, I don't know. It, I feel like all four of these plugs are five, if you will. I feel like they're all on one breaker. So I feel like even if I plug something in in another one, I feel like it's still going to blow. So we're going to test that theory. I definitely will be testing that before I'm actually live. Um, get an get electrician and add a new circuit. Hey, you know what? And that's something I, this is a rent house. So currently right now I am in a rent house. Um, I don't know what my next steps are. I really don't. Um, so one thing is, is I've rented this place until next December. And so I don't know if I'll stay here for a while or if I'll end up trying to buy my buy my own place or what I'm going to do. So I'm trying to decide that. So I don't know if this will be like a temporary situation or, or what. And thankfully, I don't need to use the garage to park because <laughs> it's definitely nice to have the extra space. Um, just let's see. Anxiety can from change. Like, yes. And um, this does not give you fear. Uh, hey, that's the one thing I will say right now, just saying God. So I have put God first, um, this, this last bit here, right? So I want to say the last, it's almost two years. I feel like, um, I have put God first. And so in the mornings, like heading to work, like that's my time with God. I pray all the way there. I listen to worship music all of the time. I've been in Bible studies. So I have a great group of girls. Uh, we are doing, um, what happens when women walk in faith? That's the one we're doing right now. Um, I've done the, what was it? Full body of armor. God, which I'm, uh, full body of armor. I can't think of it. You guys may know, but I'm going to tell you that has literally changed my life. Um, and so, yeah, putting God at first and foremost, I love our church. Absolutely love our church. And like I said, to be a part of, um, the production team at church and all of that stuff, it has truly just made a difference in my life. And like I said, going on, this is my very first mission. So if you guys have just joined in or you guys missed the beginning, I'm going on my first mission to Peru 
in June. So I'm really, really excited about that. Your garage setup looks great and well done. Thank you so much. Um, baby shower theme is giraffe. Yes, it is. And the colors are, um, we, I think it's like eucalyptus green and, um, I'm trying to think. So we got pinks, eucalyptus green. We've rented this really, really cute place. I'll have to take pictures. I'll try to video some of it so you guys can see it. Um, we rented this um, really cute place like on our main street. It's a little small. I don't even know how to explain it. It's cute. It's got all these tables. I ordered pink and eucalyptus green tablecloths off of Amazon. Such great quality. Six in a pack for like 35 bucks. Amazing. Highly recommend it. And I'm like, we could save these for all kinds of things. So we're really excited about that. Um, but yes, amen, God first and everything. So that's something different I want to do on the channel. Everybody has their own faith and um, everybody has their own beliefs. And that is totally fine. So I don't ever want to seem like I'm pushing anything on anybody or saying that you have to believe the way that I believe. But one thing I do want to do different in my channel is to bring some of that really cool stuff, you know, to talk about it and make things and and just craft with some of it, you know? So I'm really excited about that as well. Are you still going to be referred to as Nana? Yes, I have not changed my name. I'm still going with Nana. Um, let's see, what's the name of your church? Having a hard time finding one. So our church is New Life Church. Um, and so it's here in Russellville. And actually when we're done with this, I'll put a link. So if you guys ever just wanna watch it live, um, sometimes I'm back there. So I'm, I could be on a camera. I could be, uh, not live. You guys get to watch it backwards. Um, or it could be doing the screen. So I'm a part of that really exciting. Um, but if you guys ever want to watch the same church that I'm at, you could actually watch it from home. So when we're done with this, I'll put a link down below to their YouTube channel. So you guys can watch it back. Um, let's see. I just did a baby shower then would love to see some, some pictures. Um, yes. Oh my gosh. What did you do? Your baby shower? What was the theme? Now you can just be you. Yes, that's correct. I can be me. And it's so good. Let me tell you guys, it is so, so good. Um, it's just been so, I have one of my girls here. So you guys know, um, we have the one, she's going to have the sweet, sweet baby. So we're going to rock this out together. And then um, my other daughter is going to college. So she is here where she's going to college. The theme of the jungle. Oh my goodness. I bet it was amazing. Hello from Virginia Beach. I am Nana. I love the Nana. I am so pumped to be a Nana. Um, I'm like, this baby is going to change our lives. So she got those new bottles too. I think they're like a silicone. It's going to be interesting. So she got some of those. Everything's so different. They didn't have all this good stuff when we had babies. Um, and then I know that she's getting a bassinet, I think, from my, uh, from my cousin. She wanted it to work to kind of go underneath the bed a little bit there. Um, so we're all going to be swapping. Um, let's see. This is amazing. Blessing on you in your new future. Thank you so much. Um, like I said, it's just... Um, it's been, it's been an adventure for sure. It's definitely been challenging. Um, it's been stressful. It's been up and down, you know, and, but honestly, um, it was the best decision I've ever made, honestly. And I'm not like trying to be, um, it's so hard. Cause it's like, I don't want to ever seem like, how do you say it? Like, I'm not trying to be like rude or dismissive of our lives or anything like that. But honestly, it has literally been the best decision I've ever made. Now, it's not the decision for everybody. But um, like I said, it has brought me closer to God. It has brought me and my kids closer together. Um, and then on top of just me as a whole person, like I just I'm genuinely happy 99.9% .9 of the time. So it's just one of those things that I'm very thankful for it, but it's been a heck of a journey for sure. Um, let's see here. Oh my God. So good to see you. Um, have been so worried. Um, yes. And I'm so sorry that I have worried all of you guys. Cause I know that so many people have been asking and just been so worried, but I could not like my anxiety just to think about checking my YouTube or the comments could not even touch them could not, like I said, I couldn't even like watch YouTube in general. So I don't even know what is happening in the YouTube world. I have no idea what, like if what's happening with cricket, what's going on. I mean, is there anything, I don't think there's anything new. I've went and kind of peeked around. Once again, I've been talking with cricket. So I mean, they haven't said as far as I know, there's nothing too new. Um, I don't know if there's anything new with sublimation. I mean, DTF, what do we have? I mean, anything, do you guys have anything to share with me that I need to learn? 
let's see here. That is one of the rhinestone designs. Yes. So making making with Marilyn, she does rhinestones. So I'm really, really excited. So she asked me to do um, a live with her to do some rhinestones before all of this went down. And then I shut everything off. So let's see. Uh, we're happy. You're healthy and happy. Thank you so much. Divorce after 20 years was hard, but I agree that it was the best decision for me and my kiddos. Um, you know, I'm so, so happy for you. And that's the thing is, like I said, these are things that people do not genuinely talk about. Um, it is so hard to make that initial first step. And then you just have to have faith. Like I'm telling you guys, God has had me all the way through. I prayed for this rent house. I got it. I prayed for a job. A friend of mine on Facebook was like, hey, I know a place that you need to go. Good group of girls. They're hiring because I said I wanted to be in something with like the medical field. Bam, got that job. Like I prayed for it. Every single thing. My house, I started over with this craft supplies and my daughter's bed. Okay. I let it all go. Can't take it all with you to heaven. So guess what? Walked away from every single bit of it. $1,500 in my account. And you could never tell ever, ever, ever tell that I completely started over at all. Like I have everything you could imagine, my furniture, everything like you would not even imagine. So if that's stuff you guys want to hear here on the channel, I would love to talk about it. Um, but like I said, I literally started over with my daughter's bed and my craft supplies. That was it. My, my work here. And so, um, I did it. It was a whole lot of prayer, hard work, and just having faith. Like you know, like I was talking to the girls in my Bible study and somehow along the way, the money will show up, you know, now, yes, I did reach out to my dad. So my dad had sent me some money to, to get started, like to get some, the rent and all that kind of stuff in the beginning. And I've not had to be like, Hey, I need this. I need that. I need this. I have not, like, I've been able to handle it. I make enough money at work to pay my bills. Listen, as a woman as well, and a procrastinator, I forgot to pay my electric bill in a sense. Okay. I thought it was due on the 19th. And so my daughter messages me the, I think it was Friday. She messaged me at work. It was either, no, maybe it was Thursday. And she says, mom, did you forget to pay the electric bill? And I said, no, I almost paid it the night before. And I said, no, it's not due till the 19th, but here's my credit card information or my debit card information. I said, if you want to go ahead and just pay it now. And um, I said, but I'm surely it's just shut off. No, I forgot to pay my <laughs> I forgot to pay my electric bill. So when I was pulling in, we decided to go eat because there's still no electricity. Um, I just, we decided to go eat at a restaurant in town. And when we get back here, there's two huge trucks from energy and there's barely a little bit of space for me to get in my driveway. And I said, thanks guys. I said, are you guys here to turn my electricity on? Cause I said, I'm going to be honest. I forgot to pay my bill. And he's like, we have that. But apparently when they shut it off, like something happened to the meter. And so they had to come replace it. But the guys were so nice. They even came to the door and said, hey, do you need anything? Um, you know, did everything come back on? So it was really, really nice. It's lessons I'm learning, okay? Um, cleaning the hair out of the drain. You know, men want to cry about that and be like, oh, my God, you know, like your hair. You have, like, we ha like, we have hair, okay? We can't help that the drain's going to get clogged. I cleaned my own drain. I didn't cry about it. No, nobody wants to do it, but I didn't cry about it. And so these are things that I'll carry out the trash. Like I'm not going to cry. Our house stays cleaner. I'm not picking up socks and doing all this stuff. Like it's just, I'm telling y'all. Um, let's see. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mary Bear. Um, let's see here. Let's double check and I'm not missing anything. Craftable things. Hello, 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 everyone. Um, God is good. And so I know I get off track. I'm just so excited to talk to you guys. Um, but yeah, so God has really showed up and showed out in my life. And that's one thing that I want to share. Um, our preacher has been telling me, he's like, you're going to share your testimony one day. So this is probably how I'm going to do it. And then I can send this to him because he needs to get well. Um, so let's see here. Prayer does a lot. Yes, it does. And it makes a really big difference. Like instead of listening to all the sad country songs and all the, you know, sad songs, that's going to make you angry. Listen to worship music, replace all of it. I mean, if I'm in the car, if I'm in the shower, every little bit that I can, I listen to worship music and fill myself with that instead of anything else. And it has made such a positive impact in my life. Um, but yeah, these are things that I want to talk about here that just people don't discuss, right? We're normal. Like I, just because I'm here on YouTube does not mean that like I'm, you know, unbreakable or whatever. No, I have lived it. I have lived real life. And, uh, but like I said, 
there's so much stuff that we're going through here and that we've been through. And it's just been such a learning curve. Once again, I need to put my electric bill on auto pay. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I often say that I am who I am today due to what I have been through in my life. Wouldn't change a thing that I have been through. You've got, you've got this guy. I agree. That's the exact same thing that I have said. I would not be the person that I am today if I did not go through what I went through. Um, and totally, totally agree with that. And I feel like this is just part two. This is chapter two and we're rolling with it. And I think this is going to be the best years of my life. I have learned a lot. I am in no way a perfect person, you know? I mean, when you're going through something like that, you get extremely bitter and it just turns toxic, you know? And I am just so thankful for what I've been through and the person that it's made me today. Um, but yeah, it's been a strong journey. And once again, if you guys need one um, thing to just kind of change you. I'm telling you guys, change your music to, to worship music. It is so good. Um, let's see here. I am so glad to see you smiling. Thank you so much. Um, so good to hear you and see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Worship music is the only music I listen to. And see, and I love it at work too, because we've put it on now in the waiting room for our patients. And so I can hear it and I'll put it on my phone or our LPN that sits next to me. She has it on. So we kind of listen to it there too. So I kind of have that through the day, but especially anytime I've had anxiety, I would put that on and it's helped me. Let me tell you guys another fun fact. So, um, when I was first like really going through all this anxiety, the uh what is that movie hold on is it encanto encanto and then um element so it's disney movies they will literally put me to sleep so i could put those on and it would help me sleep at night <laughs> i was worried about you missed you sorry about the divorce glad you um god is in your life and family though it is the next chapter for sure um and so, like I said, it's brought me closer to God because that was pulling me further from God. Not that I didn't believe in God, but because of our marriage and our circumstances, he was Pentecostal. I wasn't. It um, kept me from church in a sense. And so, um, so yeah, but I love our church. And like I said, I'll put it down so you guys can check it out. And no way am I pushing my faith on you guys. Y'all do you, okay? As Mr. Crafty Pants would say, you do you, boo. Um, worship music can make you feel better. It truly does. It truly does. And I will say working with people like getting out and actually working, um, outside of the home has helped me. And I think that has truly been good for my soul to step away from everything and be good for my soul. But like I said, I had actually tied this YouTube to my marriage, um, cause it was part of, you know, just part of that journey. And so I, honestly hated it so much. Like I hated it. Like to even think about coming back here, but you guys are the only ones that made me want to come back. Like it's the only thing that helped me to say, but they're my people. <laughs> like these are my people. And that's why I said, I really struggled because I felt like I let you guys down. I struggled so much. Like I would get so emotional. I couldn't even talk about it. If anybody genuinely tried to have a conversation with me about it, I would start to cry. And I'm like, Oh my God, I just met you, but I'm crying now. That's how I was. Um, but now I'm pumped. I'm excited to come back now that I have officially, um, gotten this back together. I have to kind of, my hair's a mess. Y'all don't judge me. Once it starts going, like it just starts to kind of expand on its own and do its own thing. I have to kind of look at my monitor here. There we go. Let's see here. Uh, so happy that you are back. Missed you so much. I miss you guys too. And the one thing too is I am underweight just a little bit. Um, so that's been part of my thing. I have to pick up my protein, 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 protein. I'm still eating good, eating healthy, but I can't gain any weight can't gain it. I'm like trying everything. Um, and so, uh, I'm really picking up the protein shakes again and trying to put it back on at work. They started, um, like a weight loss journey. Like they have a bucket and they're doing this whole thing. And they said, I couldn't be included. I said, well, what if I put on so many pounds? Like I should be able to be accredited for that. <laughs> for that. Uh, gave me the book, Jesus Calling, and it was helpful so much. I will keep you in my thoughts and prayers. Thank you so much. I'm going to check that one out as well. Um, you have taught me so much. Oh, I'm so excited to hear that. Thank you so much to hear you are an inspiration and you have been for several years. Oh, thank you so much, Dee. I really, really appreciate it. 
Um, my husband has been working at our church for 25 years and we've probably been there. That's amazing. I'd love to hear that. See, that's what I want to be like. I am so, so excited um, to be a part of that. Like I am so excited to say that I've been, you know, part of the church and just kind of grow and evolve. It is so cool. And the team that I work with, the group of people I work with are so amazing, so kind, so inspiring. And it was really cool because even though like I had tied this to my past marriage and stuff like that and struggled to get here, um, I love what I do. It's so hard to say like in the same sentence, like I love what I do. And so to be able to still do that at church, it, it kept me going. <laughs> it kept me going. And I was like, when I seen they had put it on the screen that they were looking for somebody in production. And I was like, God, this is my calling. I wanted to help out in the church. I just never knew where, you know? Um, let's see. I love the book. I just ordered it for a friend. I am definitely going to check that out as soon as we get done. I'm really, really excited about that. Um, an awesome book. But like I said, this is where I'm at. I'm going to kind of see where 40 minutes, I'm going to go about 10 more. I figured I would kind of come for a, for about an hour. Um, I'm definitely going to figure out a fan. So if you guys know a good cheap fan, that's quiet. So you guys don't hear it in the background. Let me know for sure. I'm so afraid I'm going to watch this back later and then cringe because I talk too much and my microphone is, ugh, but hopefully not. Let's see here. I have heard that. Okay. So I've got all that. I'm really excited. Like I said, um, lots of fun stuff to, to, to come. One thing I'm super excited about is the unit. Um, this is a white toner printer. I've talked about it a couple times. Um, they actually sent it to me way back in the beginning when my health went down. Same thing with like Racoma. I had just barely partnered with them, but they have been so, so kind and so understanding through this whole process. You wouldn't even believe it. Now there is possibly, um, something else going on behind the scenes. I am talking to somebody else, um, as well about, um, a possible comeback as well. So we'll see about that as well. Let's see. Um, my 45 year old husband, okay, was just diagnosed with behavioral variant. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry to hear that. He is not early stages. God is the only thing that's helped worship music. Oh my goodness. I'll be praying for you guys for sure. I am so, so sorry to hear that. Um, hold on one second. I think I skipped that. Uh, Nikki. Yes, I will. I will definitely keep him in my prayers. Um, for sure. Thank you for sharing that today, but for sure, I'll be praying for you, girl. Um, talk, we're glad to hear it. Thank you so much. Like I said, I feel like I've had so much to say and I know I'm not saying everything. Good news. I have a grandbaby coming. So pumped going on the mission trip. I'm back. And, um, you know, like I said, working and just being a part of the church, I've got a lot of good news. So even though it seems like I can come in here and be like, well, this has been a part of my journey. Um, I can also say, this has been a part of my journey. So I absolutely, I love my life now. Let's see. We love you. Talk all you want. Thank you so much. I just appreciate it. Um, let's see. Give the video a thumbs up. Yes, please give the video a thumbs up. Once again, this was last minute. I don't even have my tags correctly. I don't even know how many of you guys are even in here. I don't think it'll tell me. Okay. 139. Sweet. Thank you guys so much. Um, I don't even have tags correctly. I just kind of threw some stuff together. Once again, this was just going to be for my besties just to test the mic. Um, because I have definitely had, I've tried to come back a couple times and it was either life or it was just not working out for me. But once again, I did have somebody help me. We got it set up together. And so now I'm ready to roll. Um, one thing I, like I said, I was so nervous about is, um, my, microphone in, in the echoing. Now I was going to test my down camera today, but we, we did it twice. Um, I replaced this cord twice there. It's not like it's a brand new cord. It's just the cords I've had. And for some reason it connected at first and then now it's not wanting to connect. So I've got to figure that out. But when we did it, the color was good and all of that stuff. And then I'll have another camera that's going to be here to be able to aim towards my beautiful embroidery machine. Let's see. Thank you. We need all the prayers that we can get. I just found your videos and they have been helpful and relaxed me off. Thank you so much. My husband goes to sleep. Like I said, I'll definitely be praying and I'm going to put that in my prayer group too, as well with my girls, uh, my Bible study girls. They're amazing. Um, let's see. Hooray. Grandbaby. It, is it your first? Yes. This is my first grandbaby. This grandbaby is going to make me a Nana and 
like I said, we got to um, see the 40 scan and she was like opening and closing her mouth and she was really, you know, into rubbing her eyes and kicking and stuff. And I have really got to see how, oh, I've got to feel her move. So there's some days she's like super active and rocking and rolling. And then there's some days like the second I touch her belly, she's like, like, I'm not moving, <laughs> but she waits until my daughter lays down at bed at night. And then that's really where she goes to town. Um, but she's growing, she's doing well. And so we are super, super excited. My daughter, let's see, will your machine be okay? Yes. Now I do plan on, like I said, I do plan on, um, putting some sort of air in here. Now I won't do obviously like a mini split or anything because, um, it's not my, it's not my home. It's a rental home. So I need to figure out a way. And that was one thing too, that kind of stopped and prevented me when I first moved in the garage is it was freezing, freezing cold in here. So I'm just now, it's not super, super hot. It's just with these lights right now, but we are headed that way. So I definitely want to make sure I keep this ventilated. So I need to figure that out. I've got to figure out what kind of fan I want to get kind of going in here. Cause one of my thoughts was when I was out here was kind of cracking the garage open a little bit and let that air circulate. But I obviously wouldn't do that during the day, but I've got vinyl out here. I don't want to ruin ink that's in printers. I don't want to ruin. It's not super hot in here just just yet. Once again, this is the lights beating on me right now. Just wanting me to uh, sweat like crazy. Let's see here. Your sound is good. Th good. Thank you guys. I'm so glad to hear that. So let's see. No problems with sound. Uh, the one question I do want to ask, what lights do you use above you for lighting? Because I'm having a terrible time with recording my um, my vinyl and being able to see it. So Lori, the, the thing is I have no light above me. None. I wish I could turn, but obviously it's my big camera. Um, so I have two, let me think for a second. One of my biggest lights, give me a second, I'll go read what they are. Um, I have no light above me. So the thing that is, and I will definitely, if you guys want to learn, because I don't mind sharing all of my tips and tricks, one day I will, you know what, hold on. Let me see if I can do this, hold up. I could actually show you guys from this way, so hold on. Just wait. If I could get it this way. Have you ever heard like one of those cameras that moves around? What is it called? I don't remember what they called it, but it's like one that can move around and out and about. Okay, hold on. Where there is a will, there is a way. So let me see if I could get her on. Oh, you know what? I can't do it with this one. Because for some reason, Hold on, we're going to swap cameras. For some reason, and then I'll get ready to shut it down after I show you all everything. For some reason, um, by the way, all of my cameras are Sony A7Cs. Sony A7C, I have three of them, three different lenses, three different sizes. I didn't start like this. I started with um, my iPhones, and then I moved up to GoPros, and then I moved up to smaller cameras, and then I slowly worked one camera to the next. Um, but let me see. I'm going to pull this one down, so y'all bear with me. One second. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get this here. Bear with me. Remember, I haven't said that in forever. That was one of my favorite sayings. I was trying to think of it the other day. I couldn't even remember what it was. Uh, they have portable AC. <gasps> I forgot about those. You know, they have like the um, the ones. I'm trying to think, and they have like this hose, and you could put it outside. Okay, I like that. I'm going to do it. And I think they're pretty affordable. Let me turn my ISO up so you guys can hopefully see this. And then let's see if I can switch. Just don't ignore the shakiness, okay? Um, I think it's going to be number... Wait. Yeah. All right, here we go. So the lights that I have, hopefully you guys can see this. This one right here, which I'll show you guys here in just a second. This is one of my favorites, right? Once again, ignore my shakiness. This is one of my favorite lights. This thing will just absolutely rock it. And then this one, I actually have four of these because you guys know I used to have a studio in town. All right, so then this is my big Sony a7C and I've got my mic thing there. And then I run my computer, you guys can see. I run a um, A10 mini, so that's how I run my lives. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I even have, um, a road, hopefully you guys can still hear me because I'm bending down. I have the roadcaster. This, that is my mic for my live. The mics, I have them above me like this. See, there is no light, no light above me. 
and I make sure that I turn off the lights in my studio. So let me see here really quick. I want to show you all around a little bit. So I have, I've got my tread, my bike over here, tons of stuff piled up. My glow forge. I've got these two shelves with all the buckets. And then my mom and my daughter got me these shelves with these buckets. Hopefully you guys can see. I know it's kind of dark because the lights are off. I've got my two sublimation printers over there. So my Kia storage, and then obviously all of this stuff. And then I have, this is so nice, guys. Look, this fell off this today. I don't know what happened, but my thread holder. And then I've got my little printer under here, but that's, that's me, right? So let me swap this back. All right. So that is how I kind of run that. So now let me kind of explain a little bit. Sounds great. Welcome back. I found a weeding tool and light on. Oh, that is amazing. I'm going to have to check that out. Uh, you have done a lot of projects. Have you ever done an epoxy tumbler? I have. It's been a while, but there should definitely be a video. Love seeing the equipment. So let me tell you guys really quick. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you. I figure I would just grab one of my extras. So my two lights are like this. This is one of my extra ones. So these domes, which is, um, what is it? Is it Aperture? I think it's the Aperture. Um, yeah, Aperture 120D. Now, I think, hold on one second. Let me see if this is, hold on. Hold on. Um, okay. So... These two right here are actually the Amron 60D, which once again, if you guys want to see a whole video on how I do this stuff, I'll link my lights below and the domes that I purchased. Those were cheaper than this. So these are much bigger. Um, and it's the same light. It's way cheaper. <laughs> but these domes right here, and then I put the honeycomb on it, and the light is turned way down low. So the thing of it is you want these lights kind of lower and then turn your ISO up. You really want your ISO on your camera to be zeroed out. The one in front, I keep it on like a zero plus 0 0.3. I know that some of you guys are like, we don't need this information. But anyways, I have two of these. And then this is an Amron. I can't remember the number. I was just looking at it. But this one's the square one, which I was showing you guys. And this one puts off a ton of light. So there is no light above me. But these lights, the way, and they're straight, but you can kind of angle them, those work the desk. So what you want to do is have your ISO up on this camera. You really want them about zeroed, but it's really the ISO on your camera. So it's not necessarily that you need a light above. You need to turn the ISO up on your camera. Um, and then, of course, I have, um, it's kind of too much glowing. I got to work with that. I have my LED strips. I have one down here, but I usually work with like these. So it's just a little strip like that. And then I just tuck them behind stuff. And it makes it glow. <laughs> so that's how it happens. And then, you know, with all of my stuff, like whenever I, uh, me too. So in the meantime, like Diane, I love looking up tech videos. So um, I'll learn how to like run the cameras a little bit better. I'll learn a little bit more information on ISO or lenses or lighting. And that's the stuff that I like to watch in the, um, in my spare time. Um, but like stuff like this on the back to create my background too, it's just donut tape dispensers, scissors, you know, it's just simple things. And then my mats and stuff. I love the glowing. Thank you so much. Um, that's all good to know because I don't think I can buy any more lights. I bought some. Yes. And that was my thing when I first started. Um, let me show you some fun stuff that literally makes no sense. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'm trying to think. So, like, you know, when you first start, and it's like, oh, I need the most expensive mic. You know, I've got to have this uh, Sennheiser, okay? $1,000 mic. No, you don't. <laughs> These mics that I have up here, I think, are like a hundred and something bucks on Amazon. You do not need the thousand dollar mic. I still haven't even connected this. Okay. It's just floating. Um, stuff like this. I'm like, oh, I need the light to be. You know, you need, some, no, you don't, you don't need any of this stuff. Okay. You just need the lights, literally your iPhone, GoPro, whatever. It's not about the lighting. It's, it's having it turned correctly and having the ISO. So the biggest thing I can do is watching, 
um, videos on, you know, recording with your camera a little bit more, even the, the lenses, it's nothing about having super expensive lenses. Um, it's more about learning how to use them correctly, how to use the ISO and all that stuff. And so, um, and that's really what it is, but you do want studio lights. Cause like if I had on, let me show y'all really, well, you wouldn't be able to see with this Hold on, Let me, let me show you really quick. Okay. So if I turned on the light in my garage, it would make everything yellow. You see how quickly. So sometimes in the past when I worked for design bundles, I would forget to turn this light off and then everything would be off. I already started recording, totally forgot. Um, but now that I've done that, let me show you all a little bit. You guys can see a little better. Hold on. I don't know if it's going to let me. There we go. I don't know if you guys could see stuff a little bit better with the lights on, just kind of how I have it. It's a mess, right? This is what I was talking about. This this is beautiful, right? We've got everything just kind of hanging. It's great. It's a mess. So never believe what you see, okay? It looks gorgeous. It looks like it's clean in here. It's not. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Let's see here. You have a laser printer. You have money for Mother's Day and more. Yes. So I do have the Glowforge. Um, and I've had a few different lasers and stuff. So if you guys don't know, my Besties membership, I've actually kind of kept it a secret. Uh, we haven't really talked about it, which I still have to ship out. My double, I had um, the one that won my double tumbler press and then um, a glue gun, which I believe is Darlene. I've still got to ship those out because when I went down, everything went down. But if you're part of my besties membership, um, I was doing separate lives and then I would give away anything that I had extra. So a lot of times Cricut will send me another, you know, machine to do another unboxing and then I would do all of that. So like recently they sent me another um, Cricut XL. What's the little mini one? And so those are extras. Let me turn this light back off. So I had been doing like giveaways with things like that. Um, and then I was doing printables, but things are going to change with that membership. I don't know how that's going to work. I'll definitely still be doing giveaways and stuff like that, but I just don't have time for the printables anymore, but I'm definitely going to figure out how on earth we're still going to continue this membership. Um, so I'm really, really excited. Those switching units for the cameras are cool. Thank you. Yeah. And see the, the ATEM, I use that to switch for my camera. Um, that's what we have at church. We have a really big one for all of the cameras. It's really cool. Amazing. All of the tech equipment. So I'm impressed with uh, take photos. Um, I couldn't come on out. I'm telling you, it's been, I've collected little pieces at a time. So one of my first purchases, which is right here, it's a mount. Um, I started with a selfie stick and I'm going to show y'all. And this will be the last thing. I swear we're going to shut it down. it whenever I was out here organizing. So the very first thing I started my YouTube channel was this and a phone. Okay. It has tape on it. Um, it was $5 from Walmart. It actually belonged to one of my kids. And then it became my, let me let my dog in here. Come on, Cody. Um, it was one of my kids and then I took over it. So it was five bucks from Walmart tape and all. Um, but this is how I started. And so I had a laundry basket. I would put it in the laundry basket. And then I would, with towels stacked in there, and then I would put it on my counter and that's how I'd record. So I've been in the counter. I've been in the, well, I've worked in the kitchen, my bedroom, a closet. Um, we had a she shed, which then ended up giving me arsenic poisoning. If you guys have been here that long, um, we switched and then I saved my money and I built a studio, which I no longer have. Um, but um, and then I've also worked at a studio in town. So don't ever think that you have to start. If you wanted to start a YouTube or you wanted to be a part of I'm trying to cover that light, um, it started with a selfie stick, selfie stick and a phone. <laughs> Let's see. I've done a long time ago. thought it was something else. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, well, amazing to see all of the tech equipment. So impressed with that. Okay. So I think that was everything. I have missed you guys. Okay. Kind of wants to say hi. Oh, come on. Yeah, hi. But it wants to say hi. I'm sure you guys haven't seen him in a hot minute. Okay. Say hi to everybody. I think he's been on a few times with us, especially whenever we were with design bundles. But 
Um, let's see. I remember when you were in your living room on the floor and talked about starting your online shop. Seems like a long time ago. Yes, it does seem like a long time ago. And my daughter actually took over that and she was supposed to um, kind of run with it. So I don't know what we're going to do with that. We're still kind of, um, we're still just kind of hanging out with that. Um, but yeah, so that is it. Get down. So mom, I can shut this down. So I have missed you guys. I'm definitely back. So I will see you guys. I think we'll start the first one and we will craft this Friday. So let's go ahead and do just to be safe. Let me get home from work and all that. We'll start at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and then we'll just see how it goes. We'll see what day works best for everybody. Once again, even if you can't join me live, you guys can definitely watch it on the replay. Um, but like I said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, and I hope you guys will come back and I'll see you soon. Bye.